Greetings, travelers to the stars. My name is Mark, and this is Tomes of Awesome. Welcome back to Cosmic Star Heroine. Sadly, I have about 20 minutes of another video there that kind of crapped out, so you're not going to be able to get to see it, which tragically did indeed include um, essential story plot points. So basically, we're just going to say that the devices that Alyssa and her team got on, on the secret lab on planet Ramu were all involved in basically mind control, the ability to tap in and connect to the human brain or brain of any species. If you want to go ahead and basically, if you've ever played the game, the Fear series, the whole idea with the clone army and the psychic commander, it's the same thing here. Dave, our tech guy in the green jacket there, he discovered while going through the analog files that Commander Steel, our own boss, is intending to use it to build an army of peaceful soldiers to bring peace air quotes because you can't see my fingers moving to the entire plant race and the galaxy so clearly we need to kick his ass in the meantime though we're immediately trying to acquire back and steal back the technology that we dropped off so we can make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands thank you and let's get going oh also and please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons Subscribe to join my channel, Tomes of Awesome. I have now marked it down the calendar. I'm going to try and create new video content every Thursday and have it at least uploading while I'm asleep at night. So it should be coming up on Friday morning and stuff by the latest. This way I can at least start moving just a little bit more professional in the uh, video and sound quality and everything and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and go. Why would you get a promotion when it's literally your job to take these guys out? I know they're all assassins, but I know you're all supposed to be badasses and everything, but you guys are just so lazy. Just saying. Uh, on the floor above that I went through in the 20 minutes you didn't get to see, there was basically just a couple more attacks, that's about it, and a few puzzles involving lasers, like you see the two purple laser beams here in front of the door. Uh, it was a similar nature to that. Uh, you had to go to each control console and flip them to switch colors of different lasers which were on which were off that kind of thing i came up with two new weapons one for sean and one for Alyssa. and as i said in a previous video the thing about this game is you don't have to find these items if you don't want to if you just want to play through the game be my guest however and also the items that you usually find can be bought in the town like maybe in the next town or the next shop or the next time that the town or whatever upgrades their arsenal inventory dot 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 anyone who's familiar with rpg games knows what i'm talking about however in this game if you're willing to put in the extra time you can get those weapons far ahead of where you should be able to get them and while it doesn't do everything for you it sometimes just does give you that little ee like week of extra ass kicking ability that makes you feel a bit more comfortable in the in the combat basically making you feel like yeah I got this so that's kind of nice because it rewards your creative ability and your desire to search here we go
Treason for the greater good is no treason, and I can't let you have all the fun. I just love Sue as a character. Yes, he's a guy named Sue, but he also has sort of a little bit of the ZZ Top full manly beard going on. Not to mention the fact that this guy can legitimately punch you hard enough to knock your head right off your shoulders. He is very literally the uh, the boxer type of character in this game. And I kid you not when I say we will be getting anywhere from like 8 to 12 characters that you can pick through and choose at your own discretion to customize your team. Yet another thing about this game made by Z-Boyd Games, in case I didn't plug them yet, that I love so much. And if you enjoy the music, they were done by HyperDuck Soundworks, which is also known for creating Elysium and Elysian, uh, Dust and Elysian Tale. Borisovsky? Hmm. Well, Boris is sort of a Russian name, and Ofsky is usually Russian. Not sure about Borisovsky, but okay, let's go with it. Sue Borisovsky. Put this beast out of its misery. Yeah, okay, look here. Um, Spectral Dragon. Uh, life ripped from its body by Dominic Steele's dark magic. Now, I was thinking about this before, and as far as I can tell, alright, this is a ghost of a dragon. It's a spectral dragon, right? So, without going too into depth, it sounds like Dominic Steele found a dragon somewhere, tore its soul out, basically killing the thing, bound it to steel, and dragged it here. So it's literally a ghost of a dragon in a metal construct shell, which kind of explains why Sean calls him a monster and says we need to put it out of its misery. This thing has literally been killed and mutilated by pure thought or divine magic used for the wrong reason. Yeah, let's... The guy's a nightmare. We have to kill him. But this thing, let's at least put it down so it can go to heaven or whatever. Alright, here we go. We got Face Punch, Faint, Bolo, Uppercut, Counter, Showboat, and Rock Solid for the new moves for uh, Sue here. See, uh, faint will increase damage on the on the next turn. If an enemy is defeated, it increases extra style. Style is the percentage there above the help, above the character's uh, images. If I didn't mention that before, if it's over a hundred and your character is killed, there's a chance they can get up and just shrug off the damage and get some partial health. Because if they're stylish enough, they're kind of like Bill Murray in Ghostbusters. I'm fine. <laughs> here adds one hyper bar so it allows him to go hyper faster gain earth element defense up all right here um start with a faint yeah She has three things. (laughs) 
Sean is now powerful enough to use the great and ultimate programmed ability, Murder. Damage may instantly kill. Let's boost party defenses to start with. Nice, we gave him rust. All right. <coughs> Who's next? He's next, so let's boost his damage. Now it's Sue's turn. Let's do the physical uppercut. Good. Electricity. We'll have her defend. Alright, Dave has in the zone... Oh, this is a new defend and ability recharge. Defend 25% of damage in addition to recharging. Gain style, lose style when hurt. And no new abilities for Sue. So we're going to try and escape. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a door down here. Haha! -ha, that purple laser beams. Buy a mystery item for 500 credits. Sure. Cool, so we got a new item. The thing machine somehow looks happy <laughs> yeah now items as I mentioned in a previous video oh yeah oh we can still only equip three at a time all right um increases allies style increases allies main stat for three turns Ooh. Let's use that one instead, because that seems way more interesting. Yeah, okay. Items do not run out, but you can only use them once per battle. So, the more items you get and the more selections you have, dear humble players, the more ability you have, once again, to customize your attacks. Which again, like everything else in this game, just makes it very, very user-friendly. You can play this game uh, to your own kind of preferences, which is very nice. Now, if I'm rem remembering correctly, I believe there's a purple door up here. Yes.
All right, we are now fighting actual machine machines. <laughs> Telly, guaranteed to kill within seven days, your money back. Well, at least it has a warranty. Transformo, only slightly more dangerous than consuming the beverages it creates. <laughs> Try entering one, two, three, four, five on the off chance it will work. It doesn't. Well, that's a shame. Because I think one, two, three, four, five is an amazing password. It's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. And if you get that joke, 10 points of awesome to you. Shut down those conveyor belts. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, password. Should do it. It's not one, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, password. Not sure if that's genius or just. Ugh. Shield headband. Chan accessory makes her protective barrier skill resist more powerful. Oh, accessory. Defend effect up. Alright, cool. man that's kind of nice okay it's just these two
Ooh. Laser defenses. Of course I've got to go through all this. I'm not talking as much this episode because, honestly, I did most of my uh, plugging of the game creators uh, in earlier episodes and things like that. So, let's just enjoy this. Yeah. Hopefully I can get out of here before the half an hour is up. Got about a good eight minutes yet, so let's see if we can't do this. Sorry guys, I gotta kill you quick. I'm on a schedule. Huh, that actually worked. Okay, I just gotta ask. The cleaner. Ready to clean your clock. I can't tell if it looks more like a tank or a giant mouse trap. Oh well. Okay, repeat last gun, Mancy. I know the turret's got high defenses, but I have to assume that that cleaner thing is big and powerful. There we go, got one down. Two down. Yo, Dave. charge Down. there got him down
Yeah, I'm bringing it down with fire for the win. Oh, yes. Here we go. All right. Alyssa level up. New ability, Flood. Water damage to all enemies. That's the one I was confusing with Drown earlier. Instead of just doing one enemy, it does all enemies. So when she goes to Hyper, that's the one we really want to hit against robots because it will kill everybody. Okay, it's just these three. Got two minutes. I think we can do it. Yeah, see that? That was Drown hitting everybody with their 300 damage. Very nice.